G'day, it's Craig here, and I want to show you our kick-ass 10-way blade fuse holder um, with LED indicators. It's a bloody ripper. I'll quickly show you what you get. So there we go there. We've got our little cover on the top that you can actually remove. It takes your standard blade fuses with the LED indicators and you just run your positive um, power to it and I'll quickly show you how it all works. Okay, so here's the fuse holder here. It has the little white uh, locking mechanism to pull the cover on and off. It does take just your standard blade fuses. Now, the thing to remember though is that it takes uh, 25 amp is the maximum amount of current that'll flow through this per channel and has a maximum of 100 amps altogether. So you just gotta work out what items you're gonna have and where and how you're gonna set it out. But as I'll show you, it just takes the standard blade fuses, which is so easy. I'm just gonna put a random amount in here. I mean, everyone's got spare fuses. If not, you can get these fuses absolutely everywhere. So that's the, um, the beauty of running such a, a common system. That's how easy it is to put the fuses in there. Um, just your normal terminals uh, for the positive side and away you go. I'll quickly show you how to wire it up. And basically what you need to do, you're gonna run your positive power uh, to the eight mil um, screw here, and then you've got to run your own earth. So, you know, caravans, camper trailers, everything that doesn't actually have a chassis earth, whether you wanna make an earth or a bus bar up, however you wanna do your earth, but your earth is gonna be separate. So this only works through the positive um, side of, of the voltage. So. Um, basically, I'll quickly um, hook her up for you. Eight mil. Nice and easy. I'm going to connect it to our power source. And what I'll do is I'll connect the pump up and you'll hear it all running. So there we go. Our, our 12 volt uh, device is up and running. As you can see, everything's operating normal. I've got it in the number eight fuse here. Uh, and that's where everything will look when it's actually working right. And I'll quickly show you now what will happen if there is a fault with the system. Okay, so now that we've got the pump, you can hear it, it's running. Now what I'll actually do is simulate a blown fuse, which I've got one here. So as you see, a blown fuse, no circuit. You have the little LED light, and that way amongst all your fuses at night time or day time, you can quickly see what fuse is actually blown. So it'll actually only light up on the blown fuse itself, which makes it so easy for diagnosis work. You don't have to sit there with a multimeter, you don't have to check each individual fuse. It just all lights up like that. It can't get much more easier than that. Um, so there you have it. That's our uh, 12 volt, 10 blade fuse holder. Um, thank you very much. And I hope you enjoy the product.